Hey guys, Timmy here from Link Building HQ. Today we're going to talk about SEO for real estate. We're going to cover why real estate websites need to focus on SEO and also to give you our top tips on how you can boost your rankings and visibility across the web. Ready? Let's start by talking about why SEO is important for real estate websites. Just like everything else, searches for homes and properties online have been increasing year after year. According to research, 44% of all property buyers start by looking for properties online. That's almost half the market. And that number is only going to increase. If you're not visible online, you're missing out big time. And secondly, effective SEO should be part of your overall digital marketing strategy. Having a compelling website, making sure you're visible in local searches, and getting yourself listed in major real estate platforms is the way to go now. A solid online presence establishes credibility for your business. If your potential clients can't find you online, they may have second thoughts about doing business with you. All right, now let's move on to our top SEO tips for the day. Tip one, claim your Google My Business listing. A Google My Business listing helps you massively when it comes to local searches. So if someone is searching for your business by name or is simply searching for realtors in their city, a GMB listing helps you pop up for those searches. Claiming your Google My Business listing is one of the first steps in ensuring you appear on the knowledge panel on Google SERPs, on Google's 3-pack, and Google Maps. Now how can you claim a Google My Business listing? Just head over to Google My Business. We've put the link in the description below and create your business profile. This allows you to list your business details on Google, including your business name, business address, and business phone number. We call these three things, name, address, and phone number, your NAP. It's very important that your NAP is across all digital channels such as your website and social media pages and accounts. After your Google My Business listing has been verified, you can also create citation accounts on Facebook, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Foursquare, and other places. This ensures that when a user searches for real estate agencies or listings on these platforms instead of Google, you still appear in their results. By the way, here's a pro tip for you. You can save a bunch of time using a tool like Yext, which sends out your listings to major directories and data aggregators so you don't have to create separate listings on every other website. Tip number two, use Zillow to rank higher on Google. For your real estate website to rank well on Google, your website needs to have a solid Zillow profile. Zillow is a market leader when it comes to online real estate. In 2018, they received 7.1 billion annual visits on their websites and apps. Yeah, that's a heck of a lot of visits. By creating a profile on Zillow and adding your properties to their website, you're maximizing your visibility. With Zillow having such a huge market share, there's a good chance this is where your clients will first find you. Add all the details of your business in the About Me tab of your Zillow profile. Sprinkle your target keywords in the description and add links to your website to gain authority. Tip number three, make full use of your website's blog and create city-specific content. Creating highly informative city-specific content can really help you with your marketing funnel. In fact, during our research, we stumbled upon this great example of Zumper doing just that. In this example, they were targeting users who plan on moving to Chicago and finding a place to stay. So Zumper created a blog that tells you everything you need to know about relocating to Chicago. It talks about the cost of living, neighborhoods, transport, the works. As you scroll down, you'll find a lot of internal links that take you to Zumper's Apartment Search in Chicago page. So you can see how they're gradually guiding users along the sales funnel. And I have to say, they're doing an amazing job. Take your cue from these guys and create useful blogs that help people learn more about different cities and areas and allows them to make a better decision. Because if you provide useful information to people when they're in the research stage, 
they are more likely to trust you and come back to you when they're in the decision stage. Now, naturally, some cities will be easier than others depending on their search volume and competition. If you're not sure what to write about, you can create useful content around the following topics. City landmarks and attractions, the local economy, jobs, and top employers, schools and neighborhoods, restaurants and shopping, transportation, things to do. There are a lot of options. That brings us to our next tip, which is guest posting on real estate blogs. Guest blogs are a tried and true method for effective link building. What you have to do is identify reputable publishers within the real estate industry and reach out to them to see if they're looking for someone to contribute great content. Most publishers are hungry for quality content since there's only so much their in-house team can create. Guest blogs can be a great way to get backlinks that point back to your site. If your content is really good, you will be able to publish it on some of the biggest names in your niche and get backlinks from authoritative websites. Just make sure you're earning organic backlinks from relevant publishers in your niche. Don't know where to start? You can reach out to some of these websites to get your guest article published. Or search on Google using these keywords to find other guest posting opportunities. Our fourth and final tip is slightly technical, and it's about Implementing real estate schema markups. Schema markups refer to little snippets of code that tell Google how to display your page information on SERPs. There are different types of schema codes that you can use. For example, by using schema markup for local businesses, you'll help Google's crawlers know exactly what kind of business you are, what your hours are, your Google reviews, and more. Studies have shown that pages that use schema markup get a 20 to 25% higher click-through rate in search. So as a realtor, you need to implement schema specifically in two areas of your website. The first is your business's listing, which includes opening hours, contact details, and more. The second one is the list of the properties themselves. Trulia makes great use of the product schema markup to list its properties and fields, such as properties address, the price of the property, and the currency it is being offered in. If you want to know exactly how to create and implement schema markup, we have a video that guides you through that. I'd encourage you to check it out. There you have it, folks. By following all the tips we mentioned in this video, we're sure that your website will get a major bump in rankings and visibility. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below to tell us which one of these tips you'll use first. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing SEO content. This is Timmy from Link Building HQ, signing out.